what is resilience, really? So you ask me, why did you write that book? Well, what is resilience? Resilience is really in order to achieve, because it's kind of like being a survivor. I mean, you can see here, you've got yes. like that little flower and the crack cracks. Yes. And, you know, it's kind of like, well, how can a flower be born from this? It actually rises from the mud, from the depth of the mud, you know? So, so it rises from like, you know, from mud, from any, you know, from nothing. You know, there's often, you see like these flowers on the rockery, there is a rock and there is this beautiful flower. <laughs> and where does it come from? Well, it's regeneration. The ability of regeneration, of actually looking after yourself. So, you know, what is resilience? You know, you ask me, why did I write that book? Because actually, you know, COVID has been a trauma for many people. It has blocked yes. the economy, okay? Yes. It has, has actually blocked, well, many people lost money and many people, you know, many business went bust. Many people died, right? So there's been a big impact on, on many aspects. But as well, it has actually allowed people to actually stop and slow down and somehow to spend time at home, especially I'm talking people that usually travel. So spending time at home, that means as well regenerating and just because, you know, stopping, you know, stopping. So so I think, you know, personal resilience, which had, you know, the key of that is really yes. in order to be resilient and to be a survivor, you need to stop, you need to stop because it's like with, with the seed, you know, the seed needs to lie there in order yeah. to grow. Then it finds its way. So personal resilience is really an output, but it gives like the very practical guidelines of how in terms of stopping, where, how you can fit so that actually you can plan ahead, you know, so that you can make this kind of, you know, time of, of stopping just like more, you know, more smoother, you know, you don't yes. have to be, you don't have to be hit by a pandemic to actually having time to stop you can actually you know uh, think mindfully like when i talk into my mindful time management you can think mindfully all, all the time putting your priorities right so that when things happen you know you cannot ever control everything but at least you've got that kind of that well-being mentality that actually allows you to well to be personally resilient Well, why? Um, because I think there is a lot of pressure that is put on um, that. Well, that one self, self put when they have, you know, we, we put on ourselves when we are parents. You know, this book, it gives points of reflection to everyone, you know, in terms of that. Um, in terms of practical, really practical, or, you know, like, well, let's try not to argue, it's pointless, you know, yeah. just, although it's very difficult to say that, you know, but focus on yourself, focus on your well-being, focus on your, on your emotions, focus on meditating, focus on finding your space, your safe space. Yeah. You know, focus on, on to, you know, you lead by example. You cannot lead by shouting. You know, that's, you know, you lead by example, even with the children. Um, so yeah. it's all practical skill set, basically.